Hello, everyone. Uh, my name's Colin Brez Brez Simi Colin. Um, thanks for tuning in to video number four. Uh, update on where we're at in our gold making journey. Um, excited for this update. We've made some progress in terms of grinding out some recipes and, and different things like that. So uh, stay tuned to see what we've gotten accomplished in the past few days. Uh, but real quick, I do want to let you know that I am currently live on Twitch. Uh, it's twitch.tv forward slash semicolon 23. Uh, I try to stream at least several times a week. On weekdays, it'll be in the evening, on weekends, um, probably anytime, to be totally honest. Uh, but throw me a follow, and then you'll get notified once I'm live. Um, hopefully in the future, we'll be doing some group stuff on stream, so I uh, would love to have you a part of that. So let's kind of first take a look at uh you know the main main character mr brez brez um so as we saw last week or, or i guess more so in the last video um i did do a big mailbox emptying and uh we got well we emptied or opened close to 1600 mails and um, looted just shy of 3 million gold out of the mailbox. Um, so as of today, we are at 579 mails in my mailbox. And we uh, have mixed in some new items. I don't think we will see too much change in profit, nothing too huge. Um, but I'm pretty confident that this should result in a, a nice mailbox. Um, plus, as you can see in my inventory, I do have quite a bit of stuff still for sale. Um, and I do have some pending auctions um, as well as some pretty high valuable auctions still up on the auction house. Um, so we will take a look, see what we get out of the mailbox and then um, go from there. Now, while we're emptying, uh, you saw me down to just between 2.5 and 2.6 million gold. Um, so I did spend uh, probably about 800K between last video and this one um, with, you know, all the new auctions that I've created. Um, plus, I've done some investing into, um, you know, diff different recipes um, and then also just kind of some of the recipes that I've been farming has taken some time away from the typical gold making activities that I do. Um, so let's talk about those recipes that I've been farming specifically on uh, my Druid. So when we take a look at jewel crafting, um, the recipes that we're specifically going for right now are the jeweled onyx whelpling recipes. Well, I guess the jeweled whelpling recipes. So there's onyx, amber, emerald, ruby, and sapphire. Uh, so the way that you get these recipes is by um, essentially going for treasures throughout the Dragon Isles. Uh, so there's going to be treasures all over the place, uh, dirt piles, uh, lost expedition packs, and um, magic bound chests so you can loot those and every single time you loot one you have a chance to get a treasure map um assuming you've gotten the required renown through uh dragon scale expedition uh so you can get a treasure map i have several down here and these treasure maps will uh once you use it will mark a spot on your map to go obviously get a treasure now, the cool thing about these three specific treasure maps is three of these are for uh, three of the whelpling recipes that I do not have. Uh, so once I learn these, I will only have one remaining whelpling recipe that I'm missing. Um, so I have been doing some farming of treasures on stream and off stream uh, to try to get these recipes. Um so that's going to continue until 
we've gotten all of the jeweled Welpling recipes. So that's one thing that I have been working towards. Um, and uh, I just want to mention an additional note with the Welpling recipes. Um, as you can see at this uh, jeweled ruby ruby Welpling recipe uh, that I have open here, there's a reagent that called Glimmering Alexstrasite Cluster. Uh, the emerald whelpling recipe is going to have a glimmering ysemerald cluster. So these also come from treasures. Uh, you're guaranteed to get one, I believe, when you open the treasure that also gives you the recipe for the specific pet. Um, but if you wanted to get more of these uh, cluster gems, then you would have to do additional treasure hunting to get them. Uh, so just kind of a side note. Uh, you could potentially do a public work order for this uh, pet if you didn't have the uh, cluster and you were hoping that another jewel crafter that does might f fulfill it. Um, but I don't know if that'll be very successful for you. Uh, I have sold a couple of these pets. I just recently got the Onyx Welpling recipe um, and I've sold a couple of these already. And uh, they sell for between four to five K so far on my server. I don't know about the other pets, but I would imagine that they're probably a similar price range. Uh, so taking a look, we have finished clearing out the mailbox and my gold went from like 2.5 ish mil up to just shy of four mil. So I did loot, uh, 1.4 million out of my mailbox. Uh, and so we are like 600 K up from the last mailbox emptying that we did just a couple of days ago. Um, so we will look back at the graph, uh, just so we can get a better idea. Uh, this is where we started in December at 30,000 gold. At my last video, video number three, when we emptied my mail, that put us to 3,300,000. As you can see, we went down just a little bit over the past several days. Um, and now, uh, February 4th, we're at 3.961 million. Uh, plus, we've got another 30K of sold auctions just pending to come to me. So uh, basically, 4 million, you know, once you factor that in. Um, so super, super ecstatic with that. This is by far the most gold that I've ever owned on one character at a time. Um, and it's really exciting. I'm, I'm shooting for a gold cap and then from there we'll, we'll see where we get, but, uh, we're almost halfway there. So, um, yeah, it's really fun. I, I hope you guys, uh, you know, are, are doing some, have set some sort of goal for yourself as well, uh, that you want to achieve in terms of gold. I assume everyone watching is, is a gold maker. Um, so you should set yourself a goal, uh, and just get started. So, uh, just to kind of recap on what we've been selling on my Druid, it's for the most part, the same stuff as the past couple of videos inks, missives. I've started dabbling into empty soul cages as well. Um, they are profitable, uh, just not super profitable. And I don't know that the sell rate is incredible. Uh, so it's something that I probably will have going forward just to sell as they sell. But uh, I don't think it's anything that's like a super reliable, reliable profit source like uh, missives and that kind of thing. I've also been putting a lot of time into crafting chilled runes. Chilled runes do seem to have a pretty solid sell rate. Um, so I've been putting a lot more time into crafting those. Um, and then obviously inks is something that we've been pumping out on a consistent basis. Um, this past week, we did do a uh, gem reset. Uh, well, my apologies, not a gem reset, but on reset. So on Tuesday, we did do a bunch of gem sales, which contributed to a lot of these sales that uh, we saw today. Uh, so I will put up a screenshot just kind of showing the craft sim queue of our, our restock that we did. Um, 
And I want you to keep in mind that we did that restock several times, like three or four times in that day alone, that was Tuesday. And it, you can see that the, the profit uh, for that one restock is massive and um, gems fly off the shelf. And so I just kept on keeping the, the auction house basically stocked of gems the entire day. And a lot of the profit, again, that you saw just now came from those sales as well as, uh, you know, everything else I've been working on. Uh, so we're not going to do it in this update video, but uh, I am going to track down these uh, treasures and start getting those other pets crafted on uh, my jewel crafter here. And then um, I have been starting to look at possibly farming glyphs uh, on my scribe, but that seems like a lot. So I'm, I'm not sure if we're going to do that. <laughs> especially to be farming out like old world glyphs, which I have voiced and really do not want to do any old world content. So uh, we'll see there, but um, let's pop on over to my demon hunter so we can uh, see what's been going on with him. He has actually been having some uh, a very solid week. I'm just going to disable this add on real quick here. So it's not taking up my screen space. Um, but it's nice to tab over and see that we've gotten some bag sales. I was really kind of frustrated this morning um, because bags were selling for 1,256 gold a piece. And then some guy came in and dropped the price to 1,100 gold. Um, so I messaged him and I was like, what, like, what are you doing? He was like, oh, I, I, that's, I was like, why are you doing that? He's like, cause I want to, I'm like, okay, I'm like, it was just stupid, but whatever. Um, so my demon hunter, as we can see, we have almost 700, uh, sold auctions on him. Um, so I'm excited to see what this turns into. We did spend quite a bit of gold yesterday on crafting a lot of these Azure Weave expedition packs. So I was especially salty when I saw the price drop this morning by 150 gold each. Um, but it's not a huge deal because, um, the reason that I crafted so many Azure Weave Expedition packs yesterday is because somebody posted like 150 something uh, Azure Weave cloth on the auction house for under 400 gold each. And all the other auctions were like 415 to 420. And I think I bought them for like 390 each ish. Um, so I just quickly scooped them up. So I think I'll still technically be profiting off of these Azure Weave Expedition packs, uh, just obviously not nearly as much. Um, and then I may have alluded to this early, earlier, but uh, we have been doing a lot of engineering crafting as of lately, and the engineering crafting um, is profitable. It's not profitable like uh, jewel crafting or inscription can be. Uh, at least I haven't found it to be yet. Um, but there is profit to be made off of you know just the parts alone. Um, so I'm working on getting my specialization, so mechanical mind and optimized efficiency maxed out. Because uh, once I have those maxed out, I'll start being able to use lower quality reagents to, and also guarantee rank three of some of these parts. Um, so for example, like greased up gears, uh, oftentimes the rank three, like most engineers probably at this point can guarantee a rank three greased up gears so those are going to be the cheapest ones almost always um so to be competitive with sales on greased up gears i have to guarantee rank three gear greased up gears but as of right now to guarantee rank three greased up gears i have to use rank three draconium ore which is double the cost of rank two so that eats into the profit um so i'm working on getting my my skill up and also you know, getting knowledge points into these areas so that I can start using the lower rank materials. Um, but I also at the same time have been trying to get points into novelties uh, because I do think that a large part of the profit that I'm going to make on this character is going to come from the uh, random toys that I can make. Um, and we have made some progress. We've made some headway in terms of toys on this character 
So um, I'm going to go ahead and start emptying the mailbox. But let's take a look at some of the toy recipes that we have began crafting. Um, so we have started crafting the atomic recalibrator. We got uh, enough points into novelties to learn that. Um, we have been crafting the Zap Throttle Soul Inhaler. I've sold 36 of them. Um, so those have definitely been contributing to some of the profit I've been making. Um, we Yesterday, we farmed out uh, all the frosty and airy souls needed to make one centralized precipitation em emitter and uh, one portable party platter. Uh, so we do have one of each of these toys currently on the auction house, um, and they're about 20K each, so it'll be very exciting once we see those sell. Um, so I can't recall, I believe the recipe for this, I can't recall how I got the centralized uh, precipitation emitter uh, recipe, but I will put a note on the screen with how to get it. All right, so... Um, Let's take a look at our profit. We are at 608,000 gold. Um, so honestly, that profit isn't isn't fantastic. Um, it didn't really put me where I wanted to be. Let me not include certain characters. Let me take this guy out, this guy, this guy. Okay, so we're just looking at this bad boy. Um, so if we look at, uh, you know, the past month or so on my demon hunter, you can see, um, most recently we were at 523,000 gold. That was towards the end of January. We got down to 155 K and then we're up to 610. So we have made, uh, you know, less than we've made like 85 K within the past several days, which is profit. I mean, I'm happy about it. And like, like if you think about it, like there's still a lot of stuff in my inventory that I have to sell. Um, I've got another 30 K at least worth of Azure weave expedition packs that need to be sold. Um, I've got investment into Azure weave bolts and Krona cloth bolts. So all of these, so all of the Corona cloth are ones that I've crafted. I'm just kind of holding on to them until I get the recipe for the reagent bag. And then these Azure Weave Expedition, or sorry, Azure Weave bolts I crafted earlier today. Uh, so I'll get those crafted and that'll uh, add to my profit. Um, so we're still, you know, very much at a point on, on this character where we're just trying to get established and get some of these income sources rolling. Um, and another thing to look at is number one. So we, we have some sold auctions coming through, um, but we also have some of these valuable items that have yet to sell. And um, these will, you know, contribute a good amount towards, towards our overall profit. Um, and also the engineering crafting, like the parts that I started selling, I really only have done that for the past day or two. So there's, there's still, you know, potentially several days of profit potential in that mailbox opening that I, I didn't take advantage of because I wasn't doing um, all of these engineering parts the whole time. Um, so that basically, you know, kind of covers us with my, my demon hunter and where he's been at. Uh, so let's check in next on uh, our transmog collector diet pepsi i'm gonna be totally honest with you guys i i haven't done a whole lot of transmog farming this week um or or in the past few days i've kind of just been putting my time into other farming areas um but with that being said i, I certainly want to continue putting more time into transmog farming um so this past week, all all I really accomplished on this on this character was uh, doing ten runs of Scarlet Monastery, and then I also continued to repost auctions as they expired. 
Uh, so we're just going to empty out the mailbox. Now we did have a couple of uh, transmog sales. So it's nice to see that we're at least getting some sales. Uh, so we got monolithic bow sold for 14.2K. Um, I don't know if that's good to be totally honest. Uh, but then we also got a pretty solid uh, schematic sale for hardcoreum goggles. And that sold for uh, 19K. Uh, and then pretty much all of the other sales in here, there's some lower value uh, transmog pieces, uh, but then it's just um, random crafting materials that we collected throughout uh, our time farming uh, different transmog farms. Uh, so as I uh, tried to do last time, um, but I don't think I'll ever officially figure out a, a good system for this. Um, but I did put all of the transmog pieces that I received out of the Scar Scarlet Monastery farm, uh, down on the bottom of my bag here. Obviously some of them were duplicates to pieces I've looted in the past because they were snatched out. Um, but probably the most valuable item we received out of that farm was the butcher. Um, and then Everything else was was fairly low value, I believe, out of the um, Scarlet Monastery run. Uh, it took probably about 40 minutes to get through all 10 runs, and the total looted item value uh, was probably between 15 and 17,000 gold. Um, so nothing crazy by, by any means. Um, but... I mean, it's it's 40 minutes of time invested and um, it's 40 minutes of time invested and 15 to 17 K is is decent. It might take a while for that to sell, but that's honestly, I think kind of the point with uh, transmog, at least for me, like I, I do not mind that stuff takes a while to sell because um, it's always, for me, it's just a super exciting when something does finally sell. Um, so we will go ahead and get these auctions reposted to the auction house. Um, what's it going to put the butcher at? I'm really curious to see the butcher at 6,800. Okay. Uh, and thank you to everybody that, uh, has left comments on the YouTube channel, uh, with just your very nice comments um, and also some of the feedback that I've gotten. I really appreciate it. Somebody uh, had mentioned the scroll wheel for posting auctions instead of clicking a ton. Um, doing that has been a lifesaver. Um, so again, yeah, just thank you everybody that's uh, shown, shown some kindness and love on the YouTube channel and uh I uh, liked the videos and everything. I, I really do appreciate that. Um, so taking a look at Transmog Man, uh, we have 176 auctions posted, and the total value is 883,000 gold. Um, would love to see some of these higher value items sell, uh, but we will be patient. And what I also would like to do on this guy real quick is just go through all of these items, double check that they are not valuable and that my TSM isn't just breaking or something. Um, so that should be posted. Um... I guess we'll post that as well. All right, so we can go ahead and vendor all of these remaining items in my bags, and then we will take our last look at uh, my hunter. Um, now, just a, a question for you viewers out there, um, you vocal viewers that have commented, um, is there any types of like content in particular you guys would like to see? Uh, obviously, all I've done so far is uh, just these update videos um, where I'm just kind of talking through what I'm doing, but obviously I'm not really like 
doing any of these things on the videos. Um, so are there any like specific things you guys would like to see? Would you, like I could go and like I could make a video, for example, of me going into detail about like what I'm doing with inscription, what I'm doing with jewel crafting, um, or or anything in between. So uh, I would just love some feedback from from anybody on what you guys would like to see, or if if you're happy with what what I've been doing, then that's cool too. We'll just leave it with that. Um, so I am just grabbing these things out of my bank here. I stuck them in the bank uh, when I did some two by four BOE farming. Uh, so on my hunter, <clears throat> I, uh, my current gold is 640,000. Um, I have done quite a bit of AOE, not AOE, Murloc and uh, BOE slash rousing fire farming over the past few days. Uh, I really enjoy doing the BOE farming because the BOEs generally sell for a decent amount or an, it, they used to at least. Um, but it's easy. In the rousing, especially the rousing fire farm, you get, like I've gotten a lot of BOEs from the rousing fire farm and you can get like a thousand rousing fire in not very long at all. Um, so I would definitely recommend that if you wanted to check out the rousing fire farm, um, you can just go into your custom group finder. Uh, I would definitely recommend being a hunter. Most groups are going to be looking for a hunter or a monk, um, or possibly druid. They, they, I'm sure they would accept a druid as well. Um, but if you're not one of those classes, it's going to be tough getting into one. But if you just go to your custom group finder. Um, so you can find groups for the Murlocs. Uh, I've, I've mentioned that, and that's down in the Azure span, uh, down here, like exactly where this world quest is. Uh, if you're going to do the Murloc or not Murloc, the fire farm, it's like right here in the Emerald dream. Uh, so you can just queue into one of these groups. They always do two by four. So if they've got four people in it, you probably are not going to get into the group. You can try signing up because they might invite you and then form a second group now that they have enough people to. Um, but they're solid raw gold, especially the Murloc farm. You know, you can make 10K in raw gold in an hour, I think. Uh, so just as a kind of a clarity... Uh, it would be like officially 6k and like actual gold looted, but then you get a lot of extra sh shit that you can just vendor on top of all the cloths and whatnot. Um, so maybe I would say about 10k gold an hour. Um, and that's another thing I could do if you guys really wanted to see, like I could do that farm for an hour and post it on YouTube if you guys w would like to see like truly what the results are from something like that. Um, so you just let me know. Uh, so we are going to double check our group. Just make sure all of these items are grouped. Don't know if any of them will sell. Uh, but let's go ahead and get these auctions posted. As you can see, I have continued to repost expiring, uh, grains that I have collected. So it looks like several of them are too cheap to post up. So I will go through and check those one by one as well, just to confirm that my auctions or my auctionator is not fucking with me. TSM is what I mean. Junk, 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 junk 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 okay oh i can disenchant that nice um okay so on my hunter we are at 668,000 gold um so now let's just reselect um so if we do my hunter and my druid on this account, we are at uh, 1.4 million gold. And then on my main account, we have 
Fres Brez, and who should we include? We should probably include Crippled. So Crippled is my demon hunter. Well, I don't want to, and he's not my demon hunter. He's my monk. I was going to say I wanted to include him um, because he does have a decent amount of gold. He's got, I think, like six to 800k on him um, just to get a try, try to get a better idea of my gold count. But I think right now we are probably sitting at, if we just, if we only consider the four characters that we've been doing gold making on, uh, we're at right around 5.4 million gold. So we're just over halfway to gold cap. Uh, so that's awesome. Halfway to gold cap. Uh, super, super stoked about that. Um, well, I, I think we're gonna, we're gonna call it at that everybody. Uh, so thank you so much again for tuning in today and, uh, watching, uh, video recap or, or gold making recap number four. Uh, if you see this basketball Papa shot hoops behind me, um, we do a, a, a Papa shot break on stream, get the blood flow in every hour or so. Um, and I, I think if I eventually get to a point where I'm able to, uh, do channel points and whatnot, then I might make like, you know, making a certain number of shoot hoops, one of like the redeems for, um, channel points. So come check out the stream twitch.tv forward slash semicolon 23. Uh, again, thank you so much for tuning in today and watching the video. Uh, if you liked, don't forget, or if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, and subscribe. Um, I hope you guys have an awesome weekend today, Sunday afternoon. So have a great rest of your, rest of your weekend. Um, have a great week. And, uh, again, thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you guys have a good one. We'll talk soon. See you.